Hello friends, welcome back to Amasav to webcast. In a third video of uh, FSRM video series, we will learn how to configure quota enforcement using FSRM on Windows Server 2012 R2. So in a first video, we just install the FSRM rule on uh, our uh, member server. In a second video, we create a file screening on uh, this FSRM server. And in this video, we are going to apply the disk quota enforcement. So these functions allow the server administrator to restrict the size of a folder so that it cannot grow past a certain size. So this is useful for mitigating FTP users such that uh, no one uh, user consumes an excessive amount of storage space on the server. So to do that just uh, let's see the scenario first of all. We have the marketing team OU and under that I already created a one group MKT user and uh, we have a user named Rakesh Jain. Rakesh Jain is already part of uh, MKT users. So on our member server, uh, already we installed the FSRM. So let's open the file server resource manager. Under, you will find out the quota management. Under, we have a quota management template. So if you want to create uh, another template or custom template, you can just right click on it and select create quota template. And here you can specify the template name. For example, let's create a quota and description. You can uh, put as per your requirement. Now specify the limit. We want to specify the limit up to 500 MB. And this is the limit 500 MB. And it will be a hard quota. So user is not able to allow the exceeded the limit of this quota. And you can also create a soft quota just for monitoring. So allow user to exceed the limit. And you can also add a threshold. So where it will send you the uh, event and let's specify the up to 75 percentage uh, it must be signed on the event log and let's click on ok you can also add at uh, 90 percent so again let's uh, select sign in event so click on ok to save this uh, template so here's our template which we created but uh, already there is a soft quota for 500 mb uh, which is soft quota just for monitoring and we created a one hard quota for 500 mb so click on quota and uh, uh, on e drive on a local drive i'm going to create another folder for uh, mkt team and uh, let's share the folder again uh, click on advanced sharing let's share the folder for permission with uh, everyone click on apply apply ok and under security click on advance just disable the uh, inheritance remove the users entry and click on add select the principal this is the mkt uh, click on check names here's the mkt users and uh, on this folder only click on show advanced permission and select create files and folders click on ok click on apply click on ok and click on close okay so here we go now let's apply the quota on that location click on create quota Browse the path, which uh, in our case it will be on a E drive. We have MKT, MKT team folder. Click on OK. And here's the create quota on a path. Here's the options for auto apply templates and create quota on existing in a new subfolder. So we can uh, select only on that folder as well as we can uh, select the auto apply. For this demonstration, first I will go with create quota on a path. Let's uh, select the template which we already created. Uh, mylab quota and click on create to create the quota so here's the mkt team and here's the quota limit for all the users of marketing team so let's go back on our client computer to test that so let's log in uh, as uh, our newly created user rakesh.j and suppose with password okay so already we log in as a rakesh chain and let's uh, access the share folder which on our file server the ip address of the file server is 192.168.49.11 and here is our mkt folder and uh, let's map that folder to see the size so here is the uh, the total size of this uh, map drive is uh, displaying 500 mb so let's uh, disconnect it and uh, I have another scenario for this quota and uh, let's disable the quota okay uh, let's delete the quota and now I'm going to create another user on uh, our domain 
let's copy the user and let's specify the name of the user is uh, js modi and the login name will be js.m okay so this user is also the member of mkt user in uh, my earlier videos i created a one uh, videos for home directory and you want to apply the quota to the home directory so whenever uh, we specify the home directory to the user that time the quota limit will be automatically applicable to all users so let's do that so on a again on a fsrm uh, console just right click on in a quota select create quota and browse the location uh, the same on the mkt team and this time we are going to select auto apply templates and create quotas on existing and a new subfolders under this location click on create so now as you are seeing this time we have our one asterisk value over here let's come back to the our uh, domain controller now let's uh, access the share folder uh, 49.11 and the share folder is mkt team let's uh, copy the path copy let's close that and let's select rakis and js both user go to the property under profile I select home folder uh, specify the travel later will be h for home and paste the path uh, specify slash percentile username percentile okay so click on apply click on okay now if we see the individual property of js modi under profile you will see the edge and the location of the user's home directory is js.m okay so click on cancel now again let's uh, log in as a uh, of a user rakis okay let's log in as a rakis open my computer and this time as you are seeing there is a automatically created map drive and as you are seeing the size is 100 mb only because we select the 100 mb hard quota on that share folder so now user is only able to store 100 mb so see you can uh, increase the amount of uh, uh, size which you are going to assign to the user for example you can just for testing i created 100 mb but you can assign a 1 gb to users so users can only store up to 1 gb data inside the users home directory you can you may create your own custom quotas as you please and even set up a alert notification you can also integrate with email so that time once user exit the quota limits the time that it will indicate uh even to uh, indicate to the administrator that user exited the quota uh, limit so just for testing let's create a certain data so we can uh, fill up the uh, size up to 100 mb and uh, for this demonstration already i created uh, two files with the sample file with uh, 99 mb let's uh, copy this file to the user's home directory now back on our member server open event viewer expand windows log Click on application and here user mylabs.rakes.ja has exceeded the 95% of quota threshold on a quota e mkt team and rakes.j on the server srdfn f01 the quota limit is 100 mb and the current users is 95.37 the 95% of the limit and if now user try to save another data like we have a 9.53 mb of data let's try to copy it and try to paste on the user's home directory that time user want to be able to save because it's saying there is not enough space on this folder you could try again and that time user is not able to save again so now uh, you if user delete the sum of the data and if you see user delete the data and now if user try to save that file user is able to save so this is the way how we can restrict the our user uh, to using unwanted space on their home directory that's it for this demonstrations thanks for watching this video